Hello, I'm Kelly. This is my channel, Incredible Anyway, where I talk about how to live an incredible life no matter what your circumstances are. My parents' dogs are all losing their love, ever loving minds. <laughs> how do you really feel? <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Is that is that Kelly's pain that you're like tossing about, saying to heck with you, to heck with you, pain? Yeah. You tell it. You kill that pain. You kill it. <laughs> He's like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> so vicious and then she was terrified of shanna you're so silly would you like me to throw your fish okay oh <laughs> you jumped on his fish uh-oh it's in here do you see it come here see it get it come on good boy good brave dog <laughs> my parents are actually like flying home today and then everybody says everybody. Oh, there's everybody in So excited, you're so excited. Okay, Lidonia. Oh yeah, oh that. This is like Today is the first time that I get my port accessed. I'm feeling very, very sick. I'm so nauseous right now. I'm drinking sparkling water. I need to eat something though because one of the IV infusions I get makes me very, very sick to my stomach. I'm already really hurting still with my port. I barely slept last night because my neck hurts so bad. It's still healing and a week ago I got the port. My port is right here which is right near the incision so i'm hoping that they won't have to actually touch the incision but i'm going to be putting something called emla cream on it's a numbing medication when you're putting that on Shannon explained how she does it i'm wearing a camisole i'm going to be wearing a button-up too I'm just really warm right now I, I don't feel good even though it's cold I just am not feeling great. These are the crackers that I'm eating. They really are crackers that you should eat when you just don't want to taste anything. <laughs> They're huge. I broke it a little off. Got my almond butter. And the only ingredient in this is almonds. So I'm trying to get everything done. Always oh, gonna put on the amla cream. I forgot, I did a few things. Let me take a bite of this. It tastes like a really stale saltine, though I haven't had a saltine probably since 2009. I've been gluten-free since 2009. No, 10. 2010. Let's see if I can handle a little bit of... Sometimes eating makes me feel better. I have this incision with... This is a glue bandage. I have three woofies in here with me. The ones I would expect. I'm not sure where Jojo is. The Emla cream, which is lidocaine and prilocaine. All of this is very sensitive to touch. The bruising is looking better. You can see I bruised all the way down here. It's crazy. But I've seen other people who also have had ports surgery and they also bruise like this. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need, but I need a closer mirror. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not so high. Since my skin is sensitive, I'm just gonna put it on. My dad just texted me saying they made their connection in Amsterdam. They were worried about it. The saran wraps just to protect my clothing. <laughs> Ta -da. Let's go get Benny off the treadmill. He's got the security tag of the treadmill connected to his flea collar. Good boy, Benny. So you can see there's this, and it's connected to his collar with a clip. And what it's connected to is this red thing right here. And that red thing is connected to the treadmill with a magnet. So if he stumbles and falls, his his uh, collar will automatically pull this off the treadmill and that's an emergency stop. So everything in the treadmill stops. It won't work without this magnet here. Benny has never ever tripped and fallen when he's been on the treadmill. Uh, he's never 
emergency stopped it either. We'll put it up to speed that he gets the highest on. So you can see the treadmill's going pretty fast and he trips and falls. It, it you know, it's gonna take a second, but it stops. Actually, that's what, what I used. If you've seen the video where I, um, you can get a drink, bub. If you've seen the video where I had a Meniere's going on and my vertigo, like I got disoriented and I fell onto the treadmill while he was, I was slowing him down. I disconnected that. So that's part of why I think we didn't get hurt and why the treadmill stopped. It wasn't going very fast. I had already decreased it. I hope I put enough on. Like that's my concern now. I'm like, maybe I didn't put enough on. I've been in a funk lately. Lots of emotions about this and the pain I've been having. And at the same time, I'm having to start thinking about and planning for my brain surgery, pre-admissions called me yesterday. She was like, okay, so you're getting a cra craniotomy to remove a brain tumor. I was like, no. <laughs> uh, I told her what I was having. And I said, you know, the neurosurgeon's gonna do a craniotomy, but then the other surgeon is going to perform a vestibular nerve section. She was silent and I said, I think he would have told me if I had a brain tumor because he was looking at my MRI. Like I, I just, I wasn't worried that I had a brain tumor and that this was a surprise. I just knew that they had it wrong, but she wasn't, took her a bit to like actually go, oh, okay. She had a read in the computer and like apparently below it said vestibular nerve section, but I don't know why they would said craniotomy for brain tumor. I'm not as sensitive about it as I used to be back in 2016. 17, I believe I had an MRI because they thought I might have a brain tumor. I was just reading the reason I'm going to get the MRI in. She wrote chronic migraine tremors rule out brain tumor. I don't think I have a brain tumor, but it sure is scary. And that's when I was sensitive about it. My paternal grandmother died of a brain tumor. It is kind of always on my mind whenever I get an MRI. Gosh, I look so tired. It's because I am so tired. I am nervous about the actual putting the needle in because I know that they're gonna have to hold the port still and the port is partially under the incision. And so I know that they're gonna have to be touching in an area that's still very painful for me. I'm sure they'll be gentle, but I'm still nervous about it. I've dealt with much worse pain than how this is gonna be today. I know I'll be good, I know I'll be okay, but it's both. Yeah, I know I'm gonna be okay, it'll be fine. But also, I'm really nervous. I don't wanna feel more pain. I'm overdone, like, I don't wanna cry. I don't have the energy to cry. Going through a lot, and it's not just this, which this is a lot in and of itself, right? I've got vertigo, I've got migraines, I've got this pain. And uh, this pain that's keeping me up, I'm not getting enough sleep. So I'm compromised that way. So it's making me compromised emotionally. I'm starting to feel things about the brain surgery. I'm not trying to like burden people with what I'm going through, but I'm going through it and I'm feeling overwhelmed. By the way, with a port, in case you didn't know, you get an ID card where it tells like the protocols for the nurses about what can go through the port. I have a power port, so a contrast dye can go through it for MRIs and CTs and stuff like that. <sighs> I'm just so done. Like I'm, I feel really emotionally fragile. I'm, I'm not. <sighs> the stress is getting to me. The stress of this upcoming brain surgery is getting to me. <sighs> brain surgery is scary. <laughs> is my emotional support dog. The key comes when I'm crying. Not Benny. Thank you. Like sometimes all you want is like this, like just somebody to come and be with you. Somebody to say like, I just I'm here. I'm not gonna try to fix it. I'm not gonna try to change your feelings. I'm just gonna be here. I'm overwhelmed. Probably crying was not the best for my body right now. I woke up and listened to several calm app meditations this morning. This is sparkling water I take. I'm also wearing compression socks. 
cardiologist wanted me to wear them. I have really low blood pressure and really high heart rate. So that could make me pass out. So wearing compression socks helps my circulation. I think that the area here is number. They're gonna disinfect this before. Sit down. I just got access. I didn't video it because, you know, but. So they're coming back with my meds. Um, they put the this up over my neck so that when they have to connect me, they're not like, they don't they didn't put it down here because then they'd be reaching down here. So this way I can button up my shirt. It's gold in here. And then see, I really love my nurses today. I feel really comfortable and safe with them. So the nurse that did it, like she explained every single thing. I, I just felt at ease with her doing it. I had to wear a mask. She was wearing a mask, like all the protocols that needed to be followed. And it's, you know, I don't know how long the needle is, but I had to turn and look away so I wasn't breathing on it. The Nemla cream was a good thing. So that's it. <laughs> so easy. So nice. Glad I took Tylenol before I came. So they'll... This is the first time I've ever had it in. It's kind of... So this is like a dressing but she didn't push everything down because I'm just going to be taking it off in two hours. My body doesn't love bandages so the needle, the tubing comes out here. It's got an antimicrobial little disc underneath it. She did have to put her fingers over my incision and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It hurt but it wasn't as bad. I said I was nervous about this with the healing. They actually offered to wait a week and I said no, no let's get it done because I already have so much nerves and stress over the brain surgery that's coming up. I just would like to get this out of the way. Like she was like, what are you nervous about? And I was just like, just the unknown and not knowing how it's going to feel. And it definitely is less pain for me than an IV, especially when they were digging for my veins. So this is super easy, super, super easy. I'm so happy. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave it here for now. <laughs> she can grab here. So I don't have any anything going at just obviously the use a lot of adrenaline <laughs> so I'm feeling very tired <laughs> I can't find the button so they tie the cord for me I'm so nauseous right now Good girl, quiet. Good girl. Good boy, Dash. Hi. Hi. Did they run you over? Oh, Betty. Honey, are you okay? It's okay. Go on out. Betty, why'd you do that? Oh. I'm feeling very, very nauseous because of my medication I had um, and I got a, a band-aid on my port when she placed the, the needle in the port blood came right out of it which is exactly what you want so that's awesome I'm really glad I used the Emla cream I think that what I thought was gonna ha how it was gonna feel in my head was worse than it actually was I love that bird. Do you know what Disney film that bird sounds like to me? Dun, da, da. To give you a hint, it's a really old Disney film. Guess in the comments, I'll let you know if anybody gets it. Dun, da, da. Ow, when I yawn, it hurts. Ow, that hurts. See how I can hold it. Oh, it didn't go as far as he thought. He jumped off the landing. <laughs> It come back, Betty. You did go far. I already threw it. I don't know if I should try to eat now. I'm so nauseous. I just haven't. Look, it's up here. That's it. That's it. You look. Look. No, 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 no. He's right next to it. Look right here. Betty. Yeah, Betty found it. Now I, we're closer, so I can throw it. <laughs> 
a terrible throw. Good job, Bang Ben. It's aching. It's aching because she gripped it. She had to really hold it down at the hole right there. I'm sure the only reason it's aching is because I'm still healing. <laughs> One of the dogs just got up and it's exactly the time for sunset. It's too cold to go outside and sit right now. <laughs> but, um, did I wake our slumber? I know I woke them because they were laying on my legs. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, goodness. There he comes. Come on. Let me see, baby. Hold on, I want to watch the last sliver of sunset, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, don't fall off. You watching this? Look at the big eyes. You watching the sunset too? The clouds are moving, so we're seeing it longer. Hi. Hi, handsome. Oh, jeez. Here it's going. that little sliver we can see. But, uh, so pretty. Pity you're missing it. <laughs> Wait, the sunrise just got bigger. Hold on. It just keeps getting better. Look, it, like, it got bigger. I, you can't see, but I swear it got bigger. <laughs> this is the sunrise that keeps on giving. It's giving me the eye. Oh, it just slipped below. <sighs> I'm feeling sicker sitting. Oh, I'll flush it. Everything just, it's like, I don't know if I looked a different way or whatever, but like everything spun out and I thought it was gonna fall off the seat. It's probably more of a just a sensation than, sorry, Dash. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. dang. Oh, I just poked myself in the eye. Ugh, ah, my spin, like what's wrong? <laughs> Joe's just like, hello, gonna get closer. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. I'm just feeling like crap. <laughs> you are not alone in this world. You are not alone. You are not alone in this world. You are not alone.